So obviously this is our first time ever fishing Rubido Creek. Uh, we really have no idea where they stock them or when they stock them or anything like that. I don't know if you've ever tried, but getting a hold of the state of Missouri to get trout information is not the easiest thing to do. But we did find a, a third party website that told us they stock right in Rubido Park, which is right behind us. And these two guys have been walking around looking at this super clear water, looking for trout. And even without polarized glasses, you can see that there's trout lined up right along this weed line right here. And uh, now we're gonna see if we have the recipe to catch them. There, look at that hog. Dang, there mm -hmm. he is. Oh my gosh. That is a big thing. trout. These, these are really mm -hmm. nice size average in Rubido Creek. I mean, the one that we got is not small, but the one out there is not. Dude, I got like the He's smallest big. of the pack. He's big. Thane, snake that one from him. Oh my god. He'll go nuts. There's some dogs. I got a knot in my Uh-oh. There'll be no snaking then. Oh my gosh. Look at how clear this water is. Nice fish. Just beautiful, clear water. And a nice trout. Very nice. Oh yeah, man. Dude, that's like the smallest of the pack. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. All righty. Rubido Creek, really good size average here. We just got here down to the first hole stacked with trout. Oh my God. <laughs> this is crazy. Did you get that bobber down? Uh, no, you, you almost hit the camera, so I <laughs> had a turn. Good set though. I mean, there's, these are all quality fish. Very quality. You know? Very quality. Wind came out of nowhere all of a sudden. Get him, get him, on him. Got him. Wow. <laughs> this is cool, man. Nobody yeah. around. Friday, too. You know, them trout Mid -day parks, I Friday. think. Friday. Them trout parks take a lot of the traffic and yep. just leave a gold mine like this for grabs. Nice spot, too. Wow. Come on, baby. Thane took that nap on the way here, and I don't think he's woke up yet. Oh, it's fat. Oh, oh my god, my. way better than Pregnant. I thought it would be. Pregnant. Oh my gosh. There we go. Look at this fish. He's been eating. All right, we got a double here. Jared's going to get the net for us. Oh, another good one. But these are just all really, really nice Beauty. trout. Yeah, I'm getting the whole go. Oh. Just trying to pop my hook so we don't get tangled. This one's sweet, man. Okay. I'm ready to we're going to have We're going to have two. Oh. Look at this one. Look at this one. Wow. Chunks. Straight up. Come on in. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Oh, oh. You almost jumped out. Folks, welcome to Missouri where wow. there's just quality trout everywhere you go in the state. Another absolute Rubido chunk. Look how <laughs> fat it is. It's ridiculous. I want to cover what we're doing here on Rubido because uh, there's a really awesome fishery here that I think is overlooked. And, uh, we really caught them on a, a little bit of everything, but um, firebait's awesome to fish under a float. Honestly, if you toss this out here on bottom, you might get lucky and get one, but you are not gonna catch them like we are. The reason it's so effective is because we're fishing it under a float. And what I did was I tied up the firebait exactly like a salmon egg to drift it under a float. This is the garlic chartreuse. This is the garlic salmon egg. Got a ton of bites on both colors. And what you do is you just take a little salmon egg sized piece and you hook it on there exactly like an egg on your fire hook and you fish it exactly like a salmon egg. And here's the thing, there is a decent amount of fish here in Rubidoux and you saw us catch a lot, but if we would have walked down here and tried just one thing from the get go and never changed anything up, we might not have caught more than a couple of fish. The key is to switch it up, run it under the float, drift the hole past a lot of fish and keep changing things up to give a different presentation and keep the bite going. It's shallow, it's clear water, it's spring fed, and you keep switching through different salmon eggs, different fire bait, things like that. You keep the bite going and you can catch a bunch of fish. So again, that's, that's the fire bait. It's a floating bait. And we put that right on a size 14 fire hook. You can run a little bit bigger of a piece if you want to. I'd suggest maybe up in your fire hook size. Uh, and then make sure you run it on a fluorocarbon leader. This is six pound test. A place like this, you could even do four. And you slide the split shot down just a little bit when you're running fire bait, because this is a floating bait. But again, this is way better to fish it under a float. Don't just toss this out there and sit it on bottom because it's not as effective. Fish on. 
Just changed up my depth. Actually went a little bit shallower and it was first cast. I got the net right here. Okay, buddy. Oh, it's a nice one. Yeah, it's nice. Actually, yes. that is, that is wow. actually really nice. I mean, what a beauty. So far we've been here. There's no such thing oh, as a oh, not. Oh, oh double, my I God. shallowed up. Double. I shallowed up and it yep, worked great. Just like that. Change the depths. Oh my God. Change your bait. That's, that's a fatty. Actually, Get more that's bite. actually that's another really good one. That's a fatty. Rubido rail out. Rubido. <laughs> Ruby. Oh my gosh, it's a really nice fish. Wow. Bring him here. Oh, nice. That fish is incredible. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Yo! That's, that's a giant! <laughs> Woo! Oh my guy. god! Jeez, makes that one look small. Man, that one's back at Mount Springs, or are we on Rubido? Rubido. Oh my god, it just keeps sizing up one after another. I love this place. Come on. Well, that didn't take long. Yeah, Jared just caught one. I just threw out there. I'm doing another they one. literally just Rubido. chose our seats for the Cardinals game <laughs> and made a cast, and bam! Coming in. Oh, it's a nice red one. Coming in. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Sweet. So you heard us talking about baseball. You guys may not know this, but Thane threw three no-hitters in high school. Played for a small school, so nobody knows. That's a secret, but listen to this. He didn't want to play in college because he wanted to go fishing with Jarrett. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it either, but hey. Fishing's a little better. You know what? At least he has a couple no-hitters under his belt. It's a huge one. It's a huge one. Oh, look at the, look at him. Oh, God, oh, look at that gosh. one that just came out. Look at that big That's one. That's the dog. The dog just chased my fish out. Same. get that big one. I thought I had him. It's oh, my giant. God. I thought I had him. That's got to be a 22-incher. Don't lose sight of your current dog. Ooh. I thought I had him. <laughs> wow. Hey guys, we're at Rubido today, and I want to go through a few baits uh, that we've been catching these fish on and how I bait them up. Um, first one is uh, the premium. The second one is the green label. And I'm, I'll just show you real quick how I bait this green label. This is our uh, size 14 fire hook. I'm just gonna take one of these out of here. Just gonna grab one of these eggs, just like that. You wanna thread that right on that hook. Just enough so it covers that whole thing and look how stealthy that looks. Hold on, Oops, just drop it there. And I'll show you that size 14 fire hook is really key to catching these fish in this crystal clear water here. You can see that that egg almost hides that full hook and that's super crucial to catching these fish. Like I said, uh, they're super finicky. We're also using light line. And I wanna show you real quick too, um, like me and Jarrett have been doing, we've been switching up baits and stuff and doing a little different techniques. Um, what I actually like to do, I like to run two of these eggs sometimes when it gets a little slower. So I wanna show you just, like I said, you put that one hook on, or that one egg on there. You can slide that up your line just a little bit. Sometimes it's a little difficult. Take another one. Just like that, look how awesome that looks. Like I said, switching up baits is so key to catching these fish in this, these waters. Um, you can come down here, fish one egg, get bites. But as soon as it slows down, man, switch it up a little bit. Two eggs, couple more bites, couple more fish. Keys to success. Come on, look at them. Look at them following it in. Nice oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's oh. A really nice one. Here, I'll take that. That? Yeah. Let's go. Damn! Dude, all these fish are yeah. really nice. Clothes. I mean, look at that look at thing. Geez. Oh my god, that's a really good fish. Yeah, it is. Me and Jarrett are just picking away at these things, switching up baits. Actually caught this one on Green Label. These are such awesome looking fish. No! Oh my god, it was him! <laughs> it was him! It was him. That was a tank. Oh. This really is a Rubido railer. This one's got a stripe. Dude. We got them so figured out. Yep. Yep. We got them. So oh, look at the colors. Oh, is it a male? That, 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 that. That's a male. Yeah, it is. I think so. Yep, it is. Oh. Big male. It's actually a big male. Good size fish. Nice male. Really nice male. Colored up. It's a sweet fish. I mean, I can't get enough of this.
Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors sure was a short one to film. Reason being, we are on our way back to St. Louis after filming all week in trail parks. But we decided to look online and see where else they stock. And here we found Rubidoux Creek right in Waynesville off I-44. It's only a couple hours outside of St. Louis. And guess what? We were going to a Cardinals game right after this. So we stopped for an hour and did a little fishing. Now, this white ribbon section is a section we focused on, obviously, because you can use bait. And we're told it's only about a mile long, okay? We started in Roy Laughlin Park and walked down through Rubidoux Park. There's excellent walking trails, phenomenal access in this area. Basically, we started just below Rubidoux Spring, which is on every map in the world. We actually saw some trout in the spring, if you can believe it or not. But we didn't fish that area at all. Now, this area was almost silly. Uh, reason being, we've never been here before. We have no idea where to go. Most places that we tried to fish already had people there. Uh, this was a Friday midday or so, and everybody we talked to was like, the bite's been really tough. Well, we went to one area that the bite was not tough, okay? We had double after double after double. We probably caught two dozen fish and released them in this one little 20-yard section without even moving our feet. It was phenomenal. We don't know when it was stocked last. We're told it's stocked frequently by the state of Missouri, and one of the locals told us it's one of the top three most heavily stocked places white ribbon style that is outside of a you know trout park uh, again we don't have information on that we're just telling you what the people that have been fishing here for decades told us now what was interesting to us is the quality was actually better here than we found in the trout parks all the fish we caught were 12 13 14 we missed one that was 20 inches you'll see jared just lose his mind when he lost it you know there were some really really nice fish in here and take a look at this water this gem like water was amazing now, we are also told that when the water comes up, it can be treacherous through here. We're fortunate to hit it on a good day. Uh, all of our fish came today on three baits. We, we used two colors of fire bait, as you saw Jared show you. And then we also used premium and green label salmon eggs. And we switched back and forth between those baits and just had success after sex, success after success, which is no surprise uh, being here as well. Make sure to use a small fire hook like we did and a fire float and you too can have a tremendous success here on Rubidoux Creek. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're gonna show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.